We should not go any further without talking about lists and list structure and the use of lists and where lists are appropriate and inappropriate because a list is not just a bulleted list kind of situation. Lists are a semantic meaning. They convey functionality to uh, like screen readers, for example, for accessibility purposes. And it's just a, it's something that you should be highly aware of and heavily using across your projects. We're going to start by talking about the unordered list. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. We're looking at our hero section that has no styling yet because we haven't learned styling, but we are working on semantics. We're trying to get the semantics to be correct. Remember that these are feature cards. Like we might have feature one, we might have feature two, and we might have feature three. Now, these would have actual feature text. They wouldn't be numbered. They would just, they would have normal text just describing three, maybe the three main features of whatever product page we happen to be looking at at the time. I don't know. Okay. We're just making stuff up right now. But what I do know is that this is a list of features in the sense that feature two, feature one, feature three, these are grouped together. These are related things, okay? It's a it's a related topical thing. And it's like, here's, here's an item, here's an item, here's an item, here's an item. That is a list, guys. That is a list. And when you use a semantic list structure, you are better informing screen readers. You are better informing crawlers like SEO crawlers, uh, AI bots who might be crawling the page, okay, and doing the AI stuff, interpreting the page. Uh, so there, are, it's, it's the same benefits that we've been talking about already. For screen reader users in particular, it is going to announce to them that they have encountered a list. And it is going to announce to them the number of items in the list. And it is going to announce to them whether that list is an ordered list or an unordered list. This conveys a lot of meaning and value to people who are using screen readers. Therefore, you should be using this structure anywhere it makes sense to use it. You don't want to overuse it or use it in places where it doesn't make sense, but you do want to use it in places where it makes sense. This is a little, there is a little bit of ambiguity here. People have tried to argue with me before. This kind of thing doesn't need to be a list. And I was like, look, if I was a screen reader user, I would want that announced as a list. I want to know when I'm encountering a list of things that are related to each other. And I want to know how many items they're about to go through. And keep in mind, they have the ability in screen readers to bypass lists. So when something is announced as a list and it says, hey, there's eight items in this list, they can easily bypass all eight of those items. If, they're, if that is not a list structure, they're going to encounter those items, not realize that the those eight things are related to each other and have no ability to skip those eight items. So this is adding like direct value. This, this is usability. This is navigation. This is clarity. Uh, it is important. Okay. So you, I, in my opinion, you should be using this wherever it makes sense. So this is going to bring us into another technical discussion that kind of goes into all, jumps all the way to systems. Okay. Um, but we need to think about building things in uh, a, a compartmentalized fashion, okay? An encapsulated fashion to where when I build something like a feature card, here's the card right here, and I'm gonna name it for clarity purposes. I'm gonna say feature card. That is an encapsulated thing. And it may, it may very well become a component. We haven't talked about components yet. I'm not gonna go into all of that right now, but I need to treat this as an encapsulated thing to where I could pick it up from where it currently lives and go place it somewhere else in the project without changing its meaning, without requiring it to be in a specific structure, without breaking its design or layout or styling or anything else. And so I, I tell you this to show you that if we just change the list structure like this, because you know everything is a box, I could just change a div to a UL and the div becomes an unordered list. Now, an unordered list means the order of the items is inconsequential to the meaning. It doesn't matter, okay? Um, so in this case, I can tell them these three features in any order. It, it really doesn't matter. So it's an unordered list. The rule of lists, uh, unordered lists and ordered lists, is that the direct child of a list cannot be a block-level element. It can't be a div. It can't be a heading. It can't be a... It's got to be an LI, which stands for list item. 
So the direct child of a list can only be a list item. And now if I make this an LI to conform to the spec and, and to not break my HTML and to say, okay, I'm gonna do this properly. What I have done essentially is I have forced this card to be an LI, which means if I take it and I try to put it anywhere else on the website, the only place I can validly put it is in another list. But what if I wanted to use the card by itself, not in a list. Uh, well, when it's an LI, that's not, I, don't, I can't do that. I can't do that. I, I've now kind of broken the portability of this element, right? So what I want to do is I want to leave this as a div and my best option is to wrap it. Okay, so I'm going to wrap it in a div and I'm going to use that wrapper to become the list item just like this. So this would be the list, this would be the list item, and this would be the card inside of the list item. And then what I would want to do is I would want to do the same thing here where I wrap in div and I wrap in div. And then you can actually come up here and just say auto generate list items. And it's going to convert anything that's not an, an LI that's a direct child of the list. It'll just convert to an LI. Okay. And so that preserves your cards. I hate the fact that it keeps jumping down here. That'll preserve your cards, but this becomes the actual list structure. Let's go look at this on the front end. So I'm gonna scroll down. You're gonna see now that they get bullets by default. When we do our styling step, we're gonna take care of all of that, okay? Uh, we obviously don't want the cards to have bullets, but we do want the proper semantic structure. And this is what you're gonna see. We've got our hero section. We got the opening container that has the image and the heading and text and button and all of that. And then we have our features list down here. That is an unordered list. Can I zoom in here? Yeah, that is an unordered list. And then we have an LI as the direct child of our unordered list. And then inside of the LI, we have our div, which is our feature card. Make sense? Okay, so, and this is an encapsulated thing that is fully portable. I can share this with other people and they don't have to put it in a list if they don't want to. I can turn it into a component and not have to worry about making a dynamic tag. I can... Again, I don't want to go down the rabbit hole. You think about things in an encapsulated fashion, okay? Treat these groups of things as like standalone items that can be extracted and placed somewhere else. That is a systems approach to web development, okay? Um, all right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into our builder. We've created proper semantic list structure in this hero section where there was none previously. I want you to do this as part of your homework. You need to pull up the hero section now and fix the semantic structure of this feature list. That is your homework. Now I'm gonna jump over, where else have we seen lists? I'm gonna go to the index template. I'm gonna go to my header. Remember the nav that we created? That used unordered list structure. Navigations will almost always use unordered list structure. Anything that seems to be a list of items should most likely use list structure. And then you need to determine, should it be an unordered list? Should it be an ordered list? Or should it be a description list? There's three different kinds of lists. In the next video, we're gonna talk about ordered lists. I'll see you there.